DIY calligraphy pens. This is what we're going to be doing in class today, kids. Hey class, so welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're going to be making some DIY calligraphy pens. Now for today's project, we're going to need some basic materials here. Uh, so on my board, I've got a couple things. we got some soda can chopsticks. With the soda can, you're gonna punch a hole in the side of the soda can with the knife or with the pair of scissors. Now, with the pair of scissors, you wanna make sure that you're not holding the blade just for safety's sake. That's like a number one basic thing. And I will have done is punch a hole just below the rim right before the can starts to bubble back out again. That way I can use the most amount of the can possible without having any extra waste that I have to worry about and cut off and all that kind of stuff. So you're just gonna walk the scissors around that top rim, cut it off. You know, take your time. Me, I'm trying to go through it really fast here. Uh, and just cutting down the side to make one sheet of foil uh, from the can itself. So cutting off that top rim, cutting off the bottom rim, and then we're gonna flatten this thing out. So be sure that while you're handling this thing, these edges are sharp. Make sure that you're doing this in a safe manner. Me, I'm, you know, run and gun kind of thing. All right, next, if you have a roller or a rolling pin or something that you can use to flatten it out, that is the next step. Now, for me, I have a slab roller, and I use, I've used it as a printing press. I've used, I'm using it in this class here to make these um, sheets of metal. And what I've done here is I've lowered the, the roller all the way down to the lowest setting so I can get it as close to the board as possible. And I'm running it through a few times. Now, I'm doing this backwards the way that the metal is already bent that way make sure that it flattens out the surface so that as after it's been flattened out I can then cut it into strips to use each of those strips for my calligraphy pen so make them about you know I, I'm doing about two inches uh, a strip on mine and you'll you might have some that are a little bigger some that are a little thinner it really just depends on the tips that you're making for how wide these strips are these real thin strips at the end, they still work just as fine, just as well. Uh, it just really depends on what type of tip that you're doing. Next, carefully fold this in half again. These are sharp edges of metal, people. Make sure that you're not cutting yourself. Uh, me and my dragon hide here, we, uh, I, I don't really care because um, um, I've done this a few times and I haven't been cut yet. So, you know, knock on wood, it keeps going. Uh, take a Sharpie and what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a spade-like shape from the top edge, notice where it's been folded. Uh, you're gonna, you don't wanna cut the folded section, you wanna cut off the non-folded section so that you can uh, use that fold where the fold is to um, go around the chopstick when we put, start putting it on there. So, once you've cut these pieces out, you're gonna have this like, this, uh, it's kind of a half spade shape that you've cut out you're gonna pull it open, pull it apart a little bit. You're gonna throw a chopstick in between it. Now me, I was using packing tape just because packing tape's what I had on hand. Any kind of tape will do, electrical tape, uh, packing tape, masking tape. Uh, painter's tape I probably wouldn't use just because it's not super sticky. Uh, nice thing is if you use electrical tape and you have a heat gun, you can shrink wrap that around the stick and it gives it a lot better. So your finished piece here, you can see the nice tip at the edge, edge of the Chops it there, dip in a little bit of ink, and you're ready to go ahead and start writing. So make sure that you drag off a little bit of the excess. Your well that is inside, in between the two pieces of metal that's holding all of that ink, you're using that to structure your writing style. I hope this tutorial has been really beneficial for all of you. If you, again, please like, subscribe, hit one of those notification bells. As always, I will see you guys next class. Later, guys.